Okay, guys. Um, here's another trail cam Tuesday video for you. Uh, what I have in this video is the Wild Game Innovations Terra Extreme Lights Out. Um, it's supposed to be an 18 megapixel camera. I picked this up back before deer season at Walmart. Um, I actually went to purchase an uh, extra Tasco because I had a place I wanted to put one on my deer lease, and they were out. Um, this camera, I believe, came in just short of forty dollars. It uh, was eighteen megapixel lights out, so not supposed to spook game. Thought, what the heck? I'd give it a shot. So I've been using it all season, and I'm here to pick it up. And I got a few thoughts for you. Let's flip around here. I had this camera up uh, here on the edge of this kind of clear cut. Uh, this year, um, first impressions right out of the box. It comes with these bungee cord attachment method. Um, to put it nicely, I'm not a big fan. Uh, I prefer a strap. A lot of my cameras I swap out for paracord anyway, but there's really not even a good way to put paracord on here. Um, just the way the tie downs are situated. Uh, You could, I guess, I don't know. There's really not a way to put a lock on it either. Let me get some better lighting. So here's the front of the camera. Um, it's got this little LCD screen. And then you just kind of pop this tray down to get to the inside. Uh, I don't know how well, you can see the buttons there. I try to power it on. Um, this thing has just drove me mad all season uh, trying to get the LCD screen to come on so I can check and see how many pictures. Nah, well that time it worked pretty good. Um, so there are literally very minimal options on this camera. Uh, you see, you set your time and date and you can look at, you see I have 49 photos set on still or video. Those are your only options. Um, let's see. Those are your only options. So you can't put your, uh, like, change the time between photos. You can't put in a burst. You can't, can't do any of that stuff. All you can do is set the time, date, set it to still video, or let, and let it go. Um, so the SD card is not there. Um, and then this is another one of those cameras with the battery tray on the bottom. So it opens up. If I want to change battery response things on the camera, all my batteries are just going to fall out into my hand. Um, that's a big drawback for me because a lot of times when I'm hanging these things up in the sky, I don't want to take them down every time to swap batteries. This camera, you have to take off the tree or change batteries. Another thing about this camera, um, and I'll show you some footage and pictures off of it here in a little bit, but the quality of pictures that came off this camera. I'm not sure I ran it on video all year. It's pretty much been stuck on picture mode all season. But like under perfect conditions, photos look pretty good. I mean they're 18 megapixel images. But nighttime images, terrible. Um just total crap. You throw a little bit of adverse conditions, some rain, some some fog or something, this thing's gonna take a ton of pictures and they look like crap. I've got so many pictures on this camera where I can tell there's something in it. Like, it took a picture of something, but I can't tell what it is. This is not a camera that I would recommend purchasing. I would um, advise you to, if you're buying a camera from Walmart, stick with the Tascos if you can. Um, just not a very big fan. So hopefully this helps somebody out. I'll throw a few pictures at the end of this video so you can get an idea of what kind of quality you're going to get off of it. Um, so anyway, thanks for checking this one out. and. I uh, really hope it helps somebody. Appreciate it.